Let's toss it over to the five for their analysis. We're going to take Guys. it from here. Fox News alert. Thank you so much, Brett. Welcome to the five breaking news on Capitol Hill. Moments ago, Speaker Nancy Pelosi signing the articles of impeachment against President Trump. That move clearing the way for a trial that could start next Tuesday. We're also learning who the House impeachment managers will be. Pelosi <laughs> picking House Intelligence Chairman Adam Schiff and House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler to lead the team prosecuting the president. We know you want to hear from the five. So I'm just going to turn it over to Greg. He's got... A few things on his mind. Yes, uh, I'm trying to control myself from swearing. That was a freaking ceremony. <laughs> you have ceremonies to award medals. You have ceremonies at weddings and funerals. This was like a baptism at the Adams family. Did you notice they had a silver platter for the pens? Everybody got a special party favor, a little pen to take home. We are paying for those freaking pens and for that platter. We and, and then you see the media taking pictures of the pens. Oh, look how special. Special the pens are. That, but what that, what you saw with that ceremony, they were spackling a turd with gold paint, <laughs> right? And we are all suckers. We're all suckers for believing this is serious. We know it's a sham. It's oh, it's they say it's historical or it's historic. That's BS. All right. We know this was an emotional tantrum directed at Daddy, who won the election, and they're mad at Daddy. So we have to go through this phony procession. Oh, let's show pictures of the cloakroom. Oh, let's watch them walk down the halls. Ooh, this is breaking news. Let's repeat it 25 times over and over again until I want to blow my brains out. Look. You're going to have a great time the next two weeks. If you're a viewer, okay, and you're watching this coverage, here's four things you got to remember. The media controls the narrative, okay? Look what happened to the five, right? You know, we had, they, they put the money in the jukebox, we got to dance. Number two, the Dems have been, and the media have been working on this for three years. So this ain't a moral cause. This was a political vocation meant to unseat an election. Number three, they don't hate Trump, they hate you. He's a proxy for you because you voted for him. They think you're a bunch of rubes because you didn't listen to the media. This is their revenge. And last but not least, you got to store all that anger. And when this is over and when they lose, because they will, you got to rub their noses in their loss till the day they retire. Thank you. You have 14 minutes left, Jesse. <laughs> Greg, here's a pen for you. Thank you. <laughs> you don't know where I'm going to put this. <laughs> you can keep it. I'm going to D.C. All right. <laughs> this is all payback by Hillary Rodham Clinton. She was supposed to win the election, and Donald Trump ruined it. So this is revenge. It started with the insurance policy. <clears throat> Trump sniffed it out. Fires Comey. Mueller knows the whole time there's no collusion, but he lets it hang over the midterm so the Democrats win so they can sort up the impeachment. Bill Barr challenges Mueller to show his cards. He's got nothing, so the Democrats panic. They fire up this fake whistleblower deal, rig a very unfair trial against the president, but they rush it. If they had gone to court and gotten the testimony they needed and gotten the evidence they needed, that would have been one thing. But they had to get it under the wire before Christmas. So Nancy gets this half-baked impeachment, only two articles, no criminal violations, and then she runs into a brick wall in the Senate. And McConnell's like, you know the teacher where it's like, time's up, everybody, pencils down. Nancy's still scribbling. She ran out of time. Put those pens. Put the pencils down. Put the pen down, Nancy. She's got nothing. This is all designed to discredit Donald Trump for political revenge and because he was a businessman and came in and did a better job than a regular politician and because the Trump doctrine of America first poses a mortal threat to the Democratic Party. It busted down the blue wall. He outflanks them on trade, on everything else. And at this point, it looks like he's going to restrict immigration. So you have someone who comes in, former Democrat, a deal maker, lives in Manhattan his whole life, ready to make a deal. He agrees with them on infrastructure, on drug prices, on everything. You could have a golden age of bipartisanship, signing ceremonies instead of engrossment ceremonies, pens for everybody, but they don't do that. They spit in the president's face. So you know what he does instead? He goes, I'll do it myself. USMCA, Papers China deal phase one. Kills ISIS, Baghdadi, he starts running the table. He's like a guy at the casino. He's got a hot hand. And everybody else is winning because they're all at the roulette table, having drinks, having a party. Everyone's getting rich. 
but the Democrats... They're playing they Keno. They're, in the, they're in the <laughs> Keno room and they're losing. They want to arrest the guy with a hot hand instead of joining the party and having everybody get rich and happy. And that's why they're so pathetic. Emily, I don't know how you're going to follow that, but I'll let you do it. I will not try Yell to follow it. But, yeah, yeah. You know, I just want to... I want to point out that it seems that when it suits the Democrats, this is a trial. And when it doesn't, then, oh, no, 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 this isn't like anything that we have in the court of law. It's totally separate. It's just politics. And to take this out for a second and just to illustrate perspective, if we did, in fact, have a trial in a normal court of law and then ongoing simultaneous trial at the same time was a grand jury proceeding and there was still evidence being gathered and you could still add it into the trial, it would be preposterous. That would never happen. And I bring that up to say that as we speak, Nadler says with complete finality and confidence that, oh, of course the Senate will accept this new evidence, this bombshell testimony, everything that has to do with Love Parnas and more, as if it will change the game. And yet with all of the fact-finding mission that the House went through, the urgency, the impact the matter of national security. Apparently, it wasn't enough for them to get it in a timely fashion, nor was it enough for the four weeks that Nancy Pelosi hung on to these articles for her to have it and tidy it up. So at any point, this defendant, which is also the president of the United States, might be slammed with an additional article of impeachment, apparently, or more evidence that the Senate is just supposed to take. I find that patently against the Constitution, because what we usually stand for and constitutionally is one of due process and a fair procedure that we can depend on. And to me, that's the largest mockery that's, it, that's in place right now. And one more quick thing. You know, everyone acts that, um, just a reminder that it's Chief Justice Roberts who's in charge moving forward and that it, this is his show moving forward. It's mostly so, ceremonial, though, for him. But he still has, he has final say over the rules. And the Senate has a short amount of time to get their act together, but it's he who can make game-changing decisions. So it looks, I mean, we'll see whether what do you he think about, optimizes uh, you know, that role. So here's the thing. As much as it might annoy everybody, ah. it is happening. <laughs> so um, given that it is happening, what do you think about what I was saying on, with Brett Baer, that is Mitch McConnell's, he's just a creature of the Senate. He loves the Senate. So he's going to make this boring, calm, sterile, and I think... About, and what about, about that tactic, rather than I, making it fiery? I, I, it's, I think, well, I, I think it's a great tactic, but I, I always go back to, I'm like a viewer. I'm sitting here just like going, if it's boring, I'm going to go crazy. If it's exciting, I, I, I don't want to watch this. Why is this happening? The answer was last night when you saw the debates. The Democrats and the media realized they can't win with that selection that they had from last night. This is their election replacement supplement. It's their testosterone patch. And the worst part about it is we are paying these people. They're on the clock and they're indulging this emotional revenge on our dime. Shouldn't that mean that we have a right to say super awful things about them? <laughs> Aren't we allowed because we're paying them to get something out of it by making fun of them every day and ridiculing them and mocking them because they deserve it, because they're taking our money and they're spending on we this undermining our country. So Can we talk about say the nasty them things out. about Republicans? You guys go through the roof. Oh, I'm okay with it. Oh, but I'm just going to say this. I think <laughs> that it's important. We have just witnessed here on the five the rage from the right over this impeachment process. You're accused of a crime. You're not taking the stand. You know what I mean? Uh, oh no. You if, put uh, up a good yeah. defense, and in this country, you're innocent until proven guilty. I think Bill Clinton, even the president of the United States. Did Bill States. Clinton take the stand? Uh, Bill Clinton testified. Bill Clinton was actually not this guy. convicted of felonies. Felonies, uh, including me. perjury. Not Donald was, Trump. Yeah. Not Donald There's Trump. No Bill Clinton was convicted oh, and stop. accused Get of felonies of by the special counsel. You know, this is the rage. And that was blinding. the truth of this what happened how, in the 1990s. This is how people this start marching hasn't and even Trump been accused of a felony. Oh, stop. A, a, he a has Abuse of power in terms of bribery That's is not, not a criminal oh, charge, oh, Ron, and you didn't even float the bribery article. It is. You it's guys in, couldn't hack it. It's you in, couldn't hack it, you didn't have the goods, and you failed, and that's why you've been sitting around this desk for the last couple of weeks pouting and pouting. moaning. Yeah. Because if you were in a good mood, because you know what? Justice would be done. No, See? I just think if he's so you're innocent, yelling. why don't you say, bring it on, bring all the evidence. Instead, Listen, you're up here. You, you do the Stonewall. investigation in the House, and then you 
Try it in the Senate. Okay, wait. You had your I... shot in the House. You failed. Yeah. Let the Senate adjudicate. Because you have a president who's acting like a Can't monarch. Can't change the rules and now. Obstructing on. justice. That is an opinion. It is not fact. It That's is. Pro- oh, it's all not a fact based, that he obstructed all justice. All of this is based on an opinion. Every problem that you have with Trump is based on. I don't like his personality. That's he's not, mean. That's he's not obnoxious. It. He's There's, not told look at people. The facts. Don't testify. Don't. That's not obstruction. Don't produce he said, evidence. "I'll see you in court." So um, they're going to keep the position of the Democrats will be that they don't. They might want certain witnesses, but they don't want Hunter Biden. But there's a difference between material and immaterial. I know. I'm asking the lawyer. All right. Right, and that's partly why, first of all, this hasn't changed. This position hasn't changed this entire time. The Democrats wanted to neuter the, the GOP's presentation and defense of calling witnesses, and to this entire time, they argue it's immaterial, and the GOP argues it is material. So ultimately... It seems to me that their strategy would be, yeah, let's get let's get everyone in here. Let's get everyone in here. Everyone should be committed to the highest level of transparency because both sides are arguing the information and the facts should be construed in their favor. But we're going to see. Think, I mean, the I whole bottom line Collins is it's not going to be that will yet. be bullied into saying that there should be witnesses because Collins already signaled today that the House did an incomplete job. This year is you've never seen a wider disconnect uh, between reality and media. In reality, you have probably the most prosperous, peaceful time in recent history. In decades, you have 29,000 stock markets going to go higher. Meanwhile, the media is pushing impeachment as though the apocalypse is coming. Mm-hmm. And I think that America is smart enough that they're seeing this chasm it can't be covered up anymore. It's too what, And that's why you see in, in, the, in the list of things that are being trusted, Hollywood is the least trusted. Slightly above that is the media. And I would actually think I trust Hollywood over the media at this point.